he didn't go home all night last night. <laughs> so if we sound goofy, that's what's the reason for it. But it's a great day for a daydream. What a day for a daydream. What a day for a daydreaming boy. And I'm lost in a daydream. Dreaming about my bundle of joy. And even if time ain't really on my side, it's one of those days for taking a walk outside. I'm blowing the day to take a walk in the sun and fall on my face on somebody's new mowed lawn. I've been having a sweet dream. I've been dreaming since I woke up today. Starring me in my sweet dream. Cause she's the one makes me feel this way. And even if time is passing me by a lot, I couldn't care less about the dues you say I got. Tomorrow I'll pay the dues for dropping my load and a pie in the face for being a sleepy bull toad. And you can be sure that if you're feeling right, the daydream will last along into the night. Tomorrow at breakfast you may prick up your ears Or you may be daydreaming for a thousand years What a day for a daydream Custom made for a daydreaming boy And I'm lost in a daydream Dreaming about my bundle of joy making all that noise alone. His whole company's here. The Ali'is and Robin Wilson and Richard Hayes. How do you do? The Ali'is comprise uh, five, six of the likeliest young men from Hawaii. All except five. one was born in Hawaii, huh? Five, not six. Five. 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 You make noise like six. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you were born where? I was born here in Manhattan. In Manhattan? Yeah. And your father went overseas? He, he was a, a preacher? That's right. The whole family moved over there. Do your family still live there? Yes. Listen, you know our boy Billy, don't you? Billy Dupree. Yes, I do. Yeah, yes. We all do. We were... Yeah. You were all together with yeah, him? we were in the Air Force band with uh, Bill. I saw. Yes. You, stationed were, together you weren't singing sergeants, were you? No, no. We no. were as a separate unit from the singing sergeants. You were in the band. Were you in the we band? We were known as the right. Ali'is. Uh, Hawaiian Ali'is. While in the Air Force. Oh, I saw. Hawaiian Ali'is. Was it jazz brunch or what? No. Same, Same thing, thing we do thing now. now. <laughs> you right. where you met them in the Air Force? Yeah, we got, they got out. When they got out, we got together. And you had known them in the Air Force? Oh, I knew them before they went in the Air Force. They were a group uh, just they play on television, a place like that. They went in the Air Force and uh, traveled with the Air Force. Oh, I see. You, you've known each other all your life. Oh, you yes. Yeah. Joe, they call you a skinhead, huh? <laughs> yeah. They actually they call me Curly. Curly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you're the first bald-headed Hawaiian I ever saw, too. <laughs> if you those around. you got plenty of hair, Don. My, 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 my. That's Lots weird. of hair. <laughs> like mine. Yeah. He's got a string in the back. He can wiggle it back and forth. <laughs> and Dick's got plenty of hair. I have every bit of hair I started out with. Got it at home in a little box. <laughs> you mean you were born looking like that? Yeah. What a yeah. horrible fright to your mother. Yeah. And heartburn, too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have some music. Ali'is, huh? What you gonna play, lads? Very beautiful Hawaiian tune entitled uh, Going Out of My Head. Oh, I think I'm going out of my head Yes, I think I'm going out of my head Over you Over you I want you And I 
It's a bit of old Hawaii, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> How do you say head in Hawaii? <laughs> aku. 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 Going out of my aku. <laughs> <laughs> Aku's a fish. All right, I'll go out of anything. <laughs> Aku oh, head, that's right. What did I say? Fish head, Wrong. fish head. Aku head, no. Aku is fish, and what is head? Um, I forget oh, the word for head. Po? Po'o. Po'o Eho, yeah. They call me Po'o Eho, redhead. Right. Po'o, that's right. right. P-O-O, Po'o. Mm-hmm. Po'o Eho. Eho is red, right? Right. Po'o Eho, that's me, redhead. Mm-hmm. Aka Po'o. That means fish head. Aka Po'o? Aka Po'o. Aka Po'o, my pretty place... little poppy. Little... Yeah, they got a place in Mexico named Aka Po'o. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to have a beauty contest in Worcester, England, and, and, and they're going to judge it by a computer. Did you hear about that, Dick? No. <laughs> the faculty will decide on the exact attributes and measurements of a beauty queen and then program all the statistics on the contestants into the machine. And the one who most closely matches the ideal is the winner. None of the girls will show up even. You know, Nobody comes. And I can see what's going to happen if they persist in this idea. One of these days we'll open up a copy of Playboy magazine... And there, in that center fold, will be a beautiful, full-color photograph of an IBM card. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be terrible. Hey, let's do Tiny Bubbles. Huh? All right. But everybody do it now with us. Tiny Bubbles. Tiny Bubbles. And the wine. And the wine. Make of me a happy... Make me happy Make me feel a fine Make me feel a fine Tiny bubble Tiny bubble Make me warm all over All over With a feeling that I'm gonna love, love you till, till the end of time. time So here to the golden moon to the silver sea and but mostly here's a toast, toast to you and me gurgle, 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 gurgle. tiny bubbles tiny bubbles and the wine in the wine make me a happy make me happy make me feel a fine make me feel a fine Make me 
it till the end of time. Big record, Richard. Oh, I know that. Thanks to you, Arthur. Thanks to you. <laughs> no, Don. You gotta thank you, man. You know, I mean. Uh, well, well, well. It's just a beautiful song, and I was happy to tell people that the record is available, but they wouldn't buy it if it weren't good, and it's good, man. Don Ho. Ho, 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 ho. Arthur, I gotta tell you, we have more trouble with that name than any any other name. Every time we pick up the telephone and call outside, say, we say, um, they say, what's the name of the... Party, ho. <laughs> Who? Every time, 100%. How do you spell it? <laughs> Every time. Never misses, right? Every time. It's, uh, it's amusing. It would be amusing at this point. You, you think your name is something to get used to? Lonnie, before she changed it, her maiden name, before she married uh, Cristino, he's a steel guitar player. Uh, her name was E.E. I.I. -E. Mm hmm. Her family name. They're very famous Hawaiian singers and composers. Beautiful family. Yeah, Just wonderful. Beautiful. But Lani E.E. E. and Don Ho, yeah, he'd say, <laughs> when, you, when you think of Don, you think of Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Do you want to hear a real Hawaiian song, Arthur? Yes. Uh, we have an old Hawaiian song that's really great in the islands from the Ali'i's first album, very beautiful album called Akaka Falls. And this number is uh, done by the Ali'i's right. with my ukulele. Your ukulele. You be sure to turn up the mic. If it's going to use my uke, I want people to hear it. <laughs> Go.
Cruz are the elite. <laughs> Boy, it's a long time since I heard that pretty thing. What's the name of it? Akaka Falls. Akaka Falls. Beautiful, beautiful place in Hawaii. Any place you go over there is beautiful. You should go. I have here, Richard, a few words today about eggheads. Mm. <laughs> uh, incidentally, in the, when the Ali'is were singing just now, the, the fella in the high voice is Joe. But don't let it fool you. He plays a terrific piano, too, and also sings way down here. Yeah. He's an amazing range. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you. Hey, you. You. I know. I know. Huh? You cold? Huh? My hands are cold. Your hands are cold. Yeah. Cold piano. It's hard Wouldn't, to play. Would you warm up the piano for him, Sai? Hey, you play my ukulele very nicely. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. I'll buy it from you. Five cents. <laughs> <laughs> Chung. His name Chinese. <laughs> Chung. Oh, Pake, huh? Yeah. Pake. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let's let's let, let's take a look into these eggheads. That's a rather snide description, you know, of the intellectuals in our midst. <laughs> And I've known some brilliant guys with foreheads as low as a Barbary ape. <laughs> but now there's reason to believe that the brain does grow in size with proper intellectual stimulation. As usual, the scientists are experimenting with rats. At the University of California, they put some rats in cages with all sorts of gadgets to stimulate their little rat brains. Toys to play with, little rubber cats, you know. But in some adjacent cages, there were rats with nothing at all to occupy their minds. And after 80 days, both the groups were put to some tests. You know, getting out of mazes, things like that. The rats who had been deprived of toys took two weeks before they could stumble out of that maze. The culturally advantaged rodents learned the maze in a couple of days. And the scientists said, Amazing! And when they examined the brains, by golly, the smarter rats did have bigger ones. Of course, to examine the brain, the rat had to part company with it, which wasn't so smart. Mm. But uh, there was the evidence. The smarter the rat, the bigger the brain. So let's remember that before we snicker and sneer at the eggheads. <laughs> they had more toys in their cages and will probably win the rat race. <laughs> and if you're too old for toys, you might try wearing a hat one size smaller. <laughs> the next time you remember you see a guy that's smart, you think of it. He's got a fat head <laughs> full of brains. <laughs> now, Don, please, before you go, you sing one song yourself. Okay. Be be Whatever good. you say. I should do a song that um, I was as a poem in Hawaii. It was very popular. And uh, it was uh, put to music by the girls from Ko'olau Girls School, which is our rehabilitation center, our, our reformatory school. The girls there in Hawaii, I think you know that music is a pastime. So they take poems and they, they put music to them, you know. And uh, one of the poems became very popular with the servicemen during the last war, World War II. which was written on pillowcases. And um, before they went on to places like uh, Guadalcanal, Anuita, Kwajalein, all those places, they'd uh, send this, uh, they'd send this uh, poem home to their loved ones. Because the poem describes and professes um, undying love and loyalty. And then the, the way they express it was very, you might say, basic and crude, but um, nevertheless, it seems that whenever people are going through a situation where they never come back, they have they express their love in a crude way, and this song tells about it. from all the rest 
Because he knew I love you best I once had a heart and it was true But now it's gone from me to you Take care of it as I have done For you have to and I have none If I got a heaven and you are not there I'll write your name on a golden stair If you are not there by judgment day I know you went the other way I'll give the angels back their wings Their golden harps and all those things And just to prove my love is true I'll go to hell to be with you If I got a heaven and you are not there I'll write your name on the golden stand If you are not there by judgment day I know you keep hilly the other way friend are so welcome and it's so nice to have you with us. Thank you for coming. Mahalo Nui. And have a nice weekend, all of you. You too. This is the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service.